So Sunday morning, just got out of bed, about to have some brekkie. Before we do, I set the drone down, round up the camera. Down to the yards. Getting ready for bed. Nice and green. Yeah. Well, it's not that green, but I'm So we've got to head over across the plantation. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see the. This is where the holding paddock is, down in here. Should have cleared them. Yeah. Cleaned all that up, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And there's the yards, and there's the water truck. So we've got some calves. Left over from yesterday, we brought in. But the cattle, these cattle, as you can see down through here, these are the ones that we couldn't get in yesterday. So these are the ones that are a bit naughty. Mm -hmm. Now, we've never done, never tried to push cattle up into the yards by, by drone. Push them around, but I brought them up the back of the, back of the hills and brought them down to the. Just to get how easy they get them in, but they actually yeah. So this is interesting. I, I've never actually been down in the trees. Because I'm actually stand, sitting up on the deck still. Yeah. That's pretty cool. We're rounding up cattle from there. So, yeah. I just got out of bed 10, 15 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So there's some steers from yesterday. Gee, they seem to respond well, don't they? Yeah. Oh, there's, there's socks. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's BBF, which stands for... Big Brown Frog. Big Brown Frog. Yep. yep. Because he really is a big brown frog, isn't he? Mm -hmm. And here we are. This is this is a few videos later, probably ten minutes after the first one. And now you can see the yards in the background there, and the cattle look fairly relaxed. But I've sent you down. I've gone, boys. This is actually working. And I've sent you down in the mule while I'm still up on the deck, looking into my phone, which is driving the drone. And the cattle are there looking at this. That's the BBF again. Mm -hmm. There's number forty. 39, she's a bit of a misfit. Yeah. But here I'm starting to see that the cattle have got their attention on something else. So I'm starting to realise that you guys can't be too far away because see they're not so much looking at the drone as much as they're looking down the paddock. Yeah, I don't think it's really so fast, so. Yeah. yeah, they're definitely looking down the paddock. So I'm like, alright, well, I'm just going to try and hold them here until the boys get here. And there they are. Definitely looking. And they're starting to get a bit more flighty too. See how they're looking around? Yeah, they're not they're looking for us. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't normally like to hang around there. Oh, there you are. There's Patrick. Yeah, that's me. Oh, yeah. This is that, that the time they start to make a dash for it. So, Harry must be here somewhere. So, I've gone over the fence line with Patrick on the other side. Hoping that I don't chop Harry's head off with the propellers of the drone. <gasps> oh no, they're going to Oh, that was lucky because sometimes they do. Oh, 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 that was lucky. Must have given an egg. Oh no, I've all got past. No, not all of them, there's some though. So I must have come back to think, well, maybe I can sort of. They're absolutely in flight now. Oh, there's Sizzle. And his Western Bulldogs footy guernsey. And bare feet. Harry. Yeah. Popcorn. Popcorn with the white birth marks. Mm -hmm. And there's Mogwai with a brown calf. Yeah. Mogwai because he's got a head like. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the gizmo off the gremlins? Uh, so look at this, the drone, they're not paying attention to the drone anymore. They're looking at Harry and his no shoes. They're probably thinking, Harry's come up. Oh. Oh, it's like shell shockers when you get killed. You see that you see and you see You see everyone still running around shooting at each other. Yeah. Oh look, there goes Harry. G'day boys. G'day. How's my drone? All good. All good? No cracks or breaks or hoof marks or? No. All right. Well, that's a relief. I was a bit, bit worried. That's why I walked down. And did you get any other cows in? I know that they were all running away. Did you get any of them in? 20 new ones. 20 new ones? Yeah. Oh, that's not... So, it's not that good, but it's all right. It's not that good, but it's all right. Well, that'll, that'll keep us busy. 
until smoke go. Mm -hmm. Won't it? Yep. Good boys. Oh well, let's go and have a drink and make the next plan. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, this is all right, boys. You've got quite a few in the yards. Yep. Well done. Drench in the Patrick, I'm scared of the cows. That'll do. Oh, Harry. Yeah. Righto, lads. Time to set the trap. We've got the ones we could get in. Now, the cheeky ones that don't want to come in, we've got to get them right. Yes. So, what are we going to use as bait? Lucerne hay. Lucerne hay. Yeah. That's like ice cream, isn't it? Yeah. And what else have we got in here? Oh, we got water. They got water. They haven't had a drink for what? Over well over a day now, haven't they? Yeah. So they'll be getting thirsty. Yes. Yeah. And what else have we got as bait? Maybe you've got a few little baby calves in the oh, back yeah, here. Yeah, baby calves. Now we can't guarantee that the mums are the ones we're going to get in, but if they can't help themselves. If they see a little baby, they might come and try and help the baby, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what are we going to do first? First step. We've got to make this trail of like basically breadcrumbs leading yeah. into here. Yeah, we're not going to use breadcrumbs, we'll use lucerne, yeah, but you put little, little lucerne drops and then they'll follow the lucerne drops in into here. And then what are we going to do? We're going to uh, put a bunch of hay in here. Yep. Down at the end, so they come down there, stick down there, and so we get like multiple cows like 10. Yep. And then we're going to put some hay behind the door. Yep. And then when they eat the hay, the door will trigger and it's like behind them. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is going to get the gate. So it's a spring. This gate's got a spring on it, see? So if we push it like that and let go of it, it wants to close like that, and then it'll slam shut against this. But what, what I've had in the past, I've had cows in here that have wanted to get out, and they've pushed this hard enough, and they've forced the gate open. So what we do now, is we get this bit of stick here, and I just put this here as a backup. So we're just going to check that. So if they put a bit of weight on it, can they open the gate? Just a little bit more around. A bit more. That's about right, isn't it? Yep, yep. So that'll stop them. So we do that, like that. So we pull that, then I've got this rope. And I've got this bit of hay here. And I just get the rope and I tie it round this bit of hay. So when the cows come in, they, eat, they see all this easy stuff. And this is the last bit of hay they'll see and they'll bite this and it'll let, release the rope and the gate will close on them. That's how you do it. We'll come back later and we'll see how many we've caught. So this is, this is in the morning. The next day yeah. we've set the trap. Can we, yeah, coming down the airstrip, what do we call it, the airstrip? This is the exciting part here. Yeah, this is the exciting part because you don't know. There's clearly something in the trap. It's like, like pulling in a net, fishing net. You don't know what's coming up. There they are. I think four mums and a calf, wasn't it?